guys, I still remain my humble self, Ampio Zinkola, one of the co founder of this great YouTube channel, Biosat Fish Academy. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well as turn on the notification bell so as to keep updating you on new topics relating to fish farming. Today, I'll be talking about stocking density. Yes, stocking density. This is one of the important agricultural practices new farmers and already existing farmers should take into cognizance. Very important. Your success story starts with the right stocking density in your pond. Now, what is stocking density? Stocking density refers to the actual quantity of fish to be stocked in a particular pond site without a negative effect to the health and to the growth of the fish. You must also note that in stocking the right number of fish in a particular pond size the volume of the water in your pond must be put into consideration for example let's say we have a pond a rectangular pond with a size of nine feet by seven feet by four feet nine feet is the length the width seven feet and the depth four feet in this particular pond, we are to convert the feet into meters. And I want you to take note that one feet is equivalent to 0 0.305 meters. That is to say, the conversion ratio of the conversion, the conversion of one feet is equivalent to 0 0.305 meters. Now, can we do the conversion? Remember, for our length, we said we have nine feet nine feet convert into meter it will give us 2.745 meter and in our width remember when we said our width is seven feet seven feet converts to meter it will give us 2.135 meter and our depth which is the height is four feet which is equivalent to 1.22 meter having converts all the feet into meter one point you must know is that you don't fill, you don't fill your pond with water. We said our the height of our pond, which is four feet. When pouring water into your culture system, you should not put the whole four feet of water. Reason being that your fish can jump and escape. Now it is expected that when putting water into your culture system, you should put it to a level of three feet which is equivalent to 0 0.915 meters. Remember we said the volume of water is one of the basis to determining the stocking density in our culture system. Now, to calculate for volume, since we have a rectangular pond and the volume for a rectangle is length times breadth times height. Remember the value of our length Remember the value of our breadth, which is our width, and remember the value of our recommended height, which is three feet. Three feet converted, converted to meter, it gave us 0 0.91 meter. So now let's do the calculation for our volume. Simple is length and its breadth and its height. Our length is 2.745 meter, and our breadth, which is the same thing as our width is 2.135 meter and our recommended height or depth which is 0 0.915 meter now to calculate the volume of the rectangular form which is length and its breadth and its height we have 5.362 meter cube that is to say the amount of water that our pond can carry for our fish farming practices is 5.362 meter cube in cube. Now to, cap, to convert meter cube into liters, because our water should be measured into liters, in liters. Now, one cube of water is equivalent to 1,000 liters of water. Simple, 
Now we are to calculate or to convert our 5.362 into liters. Simply put, 5.362 times 1,000, it will give us 5,362 liters of water. Now the next thing you should know is the stocking density. For standard stocking density and for productivity in your farm, one fish is required to be stocked in 10 to 15 liters of water. Now let's do our calculation. Since we said we have converted our meter cube into liters and we have 5,362 liters of water, how many fish are we required to stock in that culture system? We said a fish should be, should be stuck in 10 to 15 liters of water. Let's do the mathematics. 5,362 divided by 10, which will give us 536 approximately. It means that if we go with the formula for stocking one fish per 10 liters of water, we are required to stock 536 fish in that culture system. Okay, if we want to stock one fish to 15 liters of water, it's simple. You are just to divide 5,362 liters of water, divide by 15, and that will give us 357 fish. Now, it means that we are expected to stock 357 fish using one fish per 15 liters. But for us at Biosal Fish Academy, we go with the average. We go with the average of 10 to 15, which is around 12.5. And when you go with 12.5, it means that we stock one fish in 12.5 liters of water and that will give us around 450 fish to be stocked. With these practices, you are sure of harvesting your fish in less than five months because they will have a lot of space to shoot out. The issue of overstocking your pond will be solved. Anytime you overstock your fish with the above or not recommended number of fishes in your pond. It will lead to low production. It will lead to high cannibalism. So with these practices, or with this little education that we have bring your way, we believe that your fish farming exercise will be profitable if you inculcate these things that we have said. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so as to keep updating you relating to agriculture. Thank you.